it's time to review some stuff. And before we review some new stuff, a little update on some older reviews. Hi, this is Deborah, also known as Doobage42. Welcome back to my channel. Please click that like button before you go while you're still thinking about it, okay? Now, as far as the review for today, we'll get to that in just a minute. But I want to go over some things that I reviewed several weeks ago, and there are links to them. First off, Lip Sense. Oh my God, it's still going strong. I have a bunch of them now. Today's look is actually three different colors layered and like shaped around to give sort of a different look without it being one solid color. And it's topped with the prettiest gloss I have ever found which is the Silver Glitter Gloss. It is so pretty and so glittery. I will come up for a close-up so you can see the lips. Now, mind you, these lips have been going strong since about 9 o'clock this morning. I know you're watching it at a different time. It's now 7 o'clock in the evening and I worked all day, okay? Not bad for an all-day lip wear, okay? And I put together some fun colors, just three different colors. I'll talk about it in the description below. But I just wanted to let you know, yeah, the Lip Sense is going strong. And there is that link to that review so you can watch the whole thing about it. Next little review item. I don't have the packaging in front of me, but I just wanted to show you something I've done with it. Um, link up here to my Carity uh, Cosmetics review with their eyeshadows. Today's eye look is mostly from the Matte Shadows palette. I did a little sunset kind of a look. Glasses off. Now I can't see in front of me, but now you can see my eyes better. Again, that has lasted all day long. That is mostly from Matte. Uh, the liner that I'm using is a Kat Von D, uh, the Tattoo Liner in Trooper and some mascara that I can't remember which kind I was using. I have a bunch. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I, yes, I'm still kind of obsessed with that eyeshadow palette and I'm looking forward to getting some more of theirs. On to today's review. I had a little mini uh, Sephora haul that I decided not to film as a haul, but this is one of the things I got. It was on sale. It's not reviewed very well on the Sephora site, but that happens sometimes. I thought, well, let's give it a shot. This is the Sephora four liquid lipsticks and four glosses in one little palette. Now, before I get into it, I wanna read to you what it says on here. Sephora's Lip Artist Palette allows you to channel your inner makeup artist. Double stacked with four lip glosses and four liquid lip color in gorgeous hues, this perfectly portable palette, that's hard to say, let you mix and match this creamy, universally flattering shades and finishes to create your perfect look. Use the included mini lip brushes and mirror for a perfect pout on the go. Now I do tell you this, the packaging is really good on this. I'm just a little at odds with what they say about the color. I was gonna show you, I'm gonna flip it open and I gotta be careful because the little mini brushes in there are indeed mini. I'm going to just take them out and show one to you. I've left a little plastic doohickey on it so you can see just how tiny that is in my hands. Now, that's so it'll fit in the package. I get it. And if you're carrying it with you, you kind of need a brush to work with. But holy crap, it's tiny, and I tend to dump it out on the floor. Now, the top pan is lip gloss, and it is labeled as such. And I'll explain why it looks kind of dug in there in a minute. Flip up the, this pan here, and you've got the lipsticks. Look like some nice saturated colors, right? Nicely pigmented, pretty colors. I do have to admit the colors are pretty. And we've got a little mirror right here, which does work for looking at it and doing your lips. So all in all, nice package design. This is so heavily dug into, especially in this red, because I took my brush and went to dip in and most panned lipsticks are a little thicker. <laughs> I expected it to be holy cow thick and it went right in there <sighs> felt like a dork but you know it's all workable i mean it doesn't pour out it's not that thin but i wasn't expecting it to be quite so smooshy now i wanted to do some swatching of some of the colors today so you can see what i'm talking about when it's not quite as advertised as far as the colors um this red which is arguably the darkest color that's in here i'm going to gently pick some up with the brush so you can see it's loaded up look it's a pretty red 
Let's do some swatches. It's pretty, but it is sheer. When you say lipstick, you're expecting lipstick, opaque lipstick. This is about the farthest thing from opaque you can get and still have some color. Similarly, let me wipe this off. The next one up, which is sort of a, a mauve color. Again, nice colors, but so blasted sheer. Holy smokes. I'm going to have a mess on my hand here. Let's pick up some of the pink, which is almost a Pepto-Bismol pink. It is uh, sort of matte-ish. It's not very glossy when it dries down. And it's actually pretty, but so sheer. I will go ahead and swatch the last little lavender color up there. That's actually the most opaque of them all. I wasn't expecting that when I used it earlier. We'll flip that closed and go into the glosses. The glosses are actually a little bit tougher <laughs> than the lipsticks, hard to believe, but no more opaque. This is that bottom one. It's a uh, sort of a corally reddish pink. Wipe that one off. Little taupey color here. Okay, it would help if I actually pick some up. There we go. That taupey color is really sheer, but it is pretty. I can't get around that. You know, it's a nice color. And finally, this color here, sort of a pearly, light, light nude color, um, actually has the most shimmer out of all of them. And it's very nude color, even on, as we say, my pale ass. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Look at all those. Woo. -hoo. But I'm not mad at it. Okay. I am a little disappointed that the colors aren't more opaque, that it isn't liquid lipstick strong. You hear liquid lipstick and you think, boy, you're going to get some coverage. You're going to get some deep, intense color. This isn't going to provide you that. However, if you're looking for some nice sheer colors to wear in the summertime, this is it right here. Um, I wouldn't choose this to go for a full on glam look, not at all, but this is going to be nice for popping around, going to the store. You just want a nice sheer bit of color, your lips, but better kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's good for that. I only paid seven bucks for it because it is on sale on Sephora's website right now because the reviews aren't that good. Everybody says, oh, the colors are sheer. It's crap, blah, blah, blah. It's not really crap. They're just very sheer. They should have said that. Had they said that from the get-go and marketed this as a sort of summer sheer collection, boom, it would have sold a ton more. If that's what you're looking for, pick this up. It's not bad. Keep it around. You can pop it in your purse. You can mix some colors together. If you're a little bored, sit there with little brushes and Play with it on your lips a little bit. I did that at work the other day during a break because, you know, play with makeup. Yay, that's what I do. But yeah, not mad that I got it. Would I buy it again? Mm, probably not. This one's going to probably be enough for me. Now, I do reviews every Tuesday and I do a lot of makeup reviews. Got a bunch of them up here. Uh, also, I'm going to have some more reviews coming up in the future, of course. Let me give you a sneak peek. I told you I had a little mini Sephora haul. This is a couple of the things that I got. Urban Decay Vintage. Haven't had a chance to really give it a run, but I'm kind of loving it so far. I'll let you see it at some point. And this from Bite Lipstick, a little box, a little tin with four of their awesome colors. You know Bite makes some great lipstick. It's going to be a fun review when I do these because lippies are always fun. Thanks for stopping by. Click up here for Tuesday reviews, including things besides makeup. Um, click over here to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.